hello everyone. We still have a, um, some people joining. So we're gonna go ahead and wait a couple minutes um, and then get started uh, here shortly. everyone um it looks like there's still people joining so we're gonna wait um another minute or so before we get started but if you could do me a favor and um there is a questions uh box on your go to webinar um module um if you could just uh let me know that you can hear me maybe let me know your favorite flavor of ice cream or what you guys did this past weekend for the fourth that would be awesome Okay, it looks like everyone can hear me. It looks like we've got uh, the majority of attendees on. So I think we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> um, first, welcome everyone to the 2020 Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge training webinar. My name is Dawn and I'll be leading you through today's presentation. Um, I have a few housekeeping items to note before jumping in. Um, First, the webinar is going to be recorded today. Um, it will be posted in the upcoming toolkit on the Community Challenge site under the Resources tab. And then as many of you um, just did, you can use the GoToWebinar chat module to send across any questions, and we'll get to as many as we can after the webinar. Um, so I also have Deneen um, on the webinar with me from the Quicken Loans Community Fund. Um, Deneen is the program manager over there for volunteer engagement and giving. And um, so, hi, Deneen, welcome. Hi, Don. thank you for having me. Yes, we're very excited to partner with you guys for sure. Um, and I know that you have a couple of things that you wanna um, talk about, and then I'll jump into the uh, agenda and everything else after that. Perfect. All right, <clears throat> so good morning, everyone. I am super glad to be uh, having a moment to chat with you all. As Dawn mentioned, my name is Deneen Nagoy, and I'm the Program Manager of Giving for the Quicken Loans Community Fund. I know that some of you are returning participants of the Community Challenge, and many of you are newcomers, but either way, welcome. As I said, we're super excited to have you all. So I'm sure that you have all been reading our emails thoroughly end to end, but just in case, I wanna make sure that I give you some background on what you can look forward to during our month long crowdfunding campaign. So this year we have over 130 nonprofit organizations participating in Detroit, Charlotte, Phoenix, Cleveland, as well as organizations all over the country in our national category. In addition to fundraising um, happening all month, which I know all of you will completely knock out of the park, you will compete in weekly bonus challenges for cash prizes. 
Last year, we helped nonprofits raise over $870,000, so the stakes are super high. This is our fifth year holding the challenge, and it's very special to us because all of you participating were personally nominated by our team members. At the Rock family of companies, we believe that we have a responsibility to reinvest into our communities that we all call home. So we are, again, super excited to have you. Thank you for participating. And I know that we'll all have a great time together in the month of August. And I'll pass it back to you, Don. Thanks, Janine. So here's a look at today's agenda. Um, we're gonna be going over some of the basics. We're gonna uh, walk through getting started by navigating and customizing your team page on the platform. Uh, and then after that, we'll go over the prizes available and then we'll move into a Q&A session. Um, and again, if you have a question while I'm presenting, just type it into the questions box of your GoToWebinar panel and we'll make sure to cover it at the end. Um, if we do run out of time today, um, I'll make sure to email everyone so we get all questions answered. And then of course, if there's a running theme with any questions, then I'll be sure to add um, that particular question and answer to the FAQ on the challenge page so you all have access to the answers. So community challenge basics. The 2020 Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge is a four week long event that runs from August 3rd at noon Eastern to August 31st at 115959 AM Eastern. So while your organization will only be participating um, with nonprofits in your particular location, like Deneen mentioned, the challenge is benefiting five separate markets, Detroit, Cleveland, Charlotte, Phoenix, and um, a national market. And the really awesome thing about this giving event is that there's $275,000 of prize money at stake and lots of opportunities to win. Um, but we'll definitely get into prizes available um, a little bit later on. So how does a fundraising challenge work? Um, for those of you who are new, um, a fundraising challenge is a unique campaign presented by a host that allows organizations to compete with other nonprofits or you, know, you can compete against your own goal uh, to win prize money. So fundraising challenges are an exciting way for you to engage sponsors, community partners, peer-to-peer -peer fundraisers, and more to spread the word about your organization and mission uh, and raise funds for your cause. So the limited time frame um, creates a sense of urgency that donors really tend to respond to, and the prizes available give you fresh messaging opportunities to use throughout the campaign. So question from all of you, I'm sure, what does my nonprofit need to do? So all of you on the webinar today would have received um, a challenge welcome email this past Monday after accepting the invitation to participate in this year's community challenge. Um, if you don't remember receiving that welcome email, um, I would check your spam or junk folders, um, or you can email uh, the support team at rockchallenge at mightycause.com to let us know that you didn't receive it, and we can definitely resend it to you. Um, in that welcome email, you can find the link to your exclusive team page for this year's challenge. So the first thing that you'll wanna do uh, is customize that team page by adding a logo and information about your organization. Uh, you'll then wanna make sure that you're fully eligible to receive prizes by uploading your uh, W-9 um, and your most recent 990. And then once you've done that, you can start planning for your campaign by strategizing around this year's bonus challenges. Um, you can also attend the second training webinar on July 15th. Um, that one's going to be all about strategy. So if you're not sure where to start or you want some good tips on using the new tools that you get um, with your Mighty Cause account, um, be sure to attend next week's webinar. Um, you can find the link to sign up for the webinar on the welcome page that is referenced in that um, email you received on Monday. But again, um, if you want us to send you the direct link to the registration for the webinar, just email rockchallenge at mightycause.com. And at the end of the presentation, I will have um, a slide that has our the support information on it. So you can write it down and put it you know, wherever you need to to um, make sure you have easy access to it. Uh, and then once the challenge has started, your organization will need to promote your campaign so that people know it exists. 
Um, you'll want to invite people involved with your organization to participate as peer-to-peer um, -peer fundraisers, um, you know, join your team. And of course, you'll need to raise money to win some of the uh, really awesome prizes that um, are being given away. So this is the home page for the community challenge this year. Um, you'll see the URL here at the top. I would definitely bookmark it. Um, you can access each markets page and grand prize leader leaderboards from this overall challenge site. And then once the challenge starts, this is where you can um, find the leaderboards that will show your bonus challenge standings as well um, underneath the bonus challenge uh, tab you see in the menu. So just make sure that you bookmark this main site now. Um, not only will you know it it has you know all the different uh, location information, but then it also just has a lot of great um, accessible tools. Uh, you'll see the videos. Um, you still see resources. So just bookmark this link. That way you have it handy whenever you need it um, and can access everything quickly. Um, the resources tab um, that you see here too uh, in, includes a co the comprehensive FAQ um, and it includes all of the, the bonus challenges for each location. Um, the challenge rules, which are coming soon, and then obviously general information about this year's community challenge. So moving on to your organization's team page for your uh, community challenge page this year. Um, we recommend taking some time to get to know your team page dashboard. Um, your dashboard is the admin bar that appears on the left side of the screen when you're logged in and on your nonprofit's team page. So you'll automatically land in edit mode, which is the view that you see here in the screenshot when you access your team page. Uh, you can always see the public facing view at any time while you're editing by clicking the live page uh, eyeball icon on that dashboard and then under live page is the page editor icon so this is going to allow you to open the page back up for editing if you're not quite satisfied or you have additional changes that you want to make um, underneath that the campaigns icon gives you a quick overview of all the fundraisers that have joined your team page while participants gives you visibility into each team member's progress and gives you the ability to communicate with them directly. And then you can also invite new supporters to join your team through the participants section of your team page as well. So then below participants on your dashboard is the report section. Um, you'll be able to preview and export your team's donation report. Uh, and utilize the Mighty Cause Matching Grant tool, which we're going to talk about in just a little bit. And then the last option on your dashboard um, is the settings. So within settings, you can update your social share template. You can add a fundraiser template to make joining your team really easy for your supporters. And you can view and manage your challenge uh, checkout flow by adding suggested donation amounts, um, customizing the thank you page donors see after they complete a transaction um, and uh, you can uh, get a little bit more information from them through that checkout process as well. So your team page is the face of your nonprofit for the 2020 community challenge. So you'll want to make sure that it looks good and it represents you well. Um, and so just so you know, your team page link is the link you'll share with your supporters to ask them to donate to your challenge page. So to share your page, just copy and paste the URL into the email or social post or you know, wherever you're advertising the campaign. And that is the same URL that um, you would have received in that welcome email um, that you were sent on Monday as well. So that's another great link to bookmark and save while you're um, you know, in this kind of pre-phase, um, getting ready for stuff. Um, so as you're getting started, you'll want to customize your team page to match your brand. Um, there are two ways to start customizing. You can click the page editor on your dashboard. Um, this will open up everything that you're able to edit. Uh, and if you're a list person, you can go down that list that opens after choosing page editor to make sure that you hit everything that you want to. The other way to customize, uh, as you can see in the visual here on the slide, is to just use the little pencil icons that appear on the page to indicate a section can be edited. So all you have to do is just click the little pencil and that section will open up for editing. 
So the story section of your page is your chance to explain what your nonprofit is all about. Uh, the text editor is right in that section. So all you have to do is click the, the blue pencil icon to open up the editing tools and start writing. Um, you can add media to your story, um, you know, to jazz things up by, you know, utilize the inline text editor, add links, uh, you can upload images, you can link to videos from YouTube and Vimeo. Um, those will get embedded right in your story so people visiting your challenge page can check them out um, within that section. You can also add bulleted or numbered lists. Um, there's a lot of different tools available to you. Paragraph headers, um, you can center things. Um, there, you can add tables. There's just a ton of different tools available to you in that um, text editing bar. Um, so you can really uh, make your the story section of your team page look really awesome um, if, if you're so inclined. Um, so this story spot is just really where you can go in depth about your work and make a really strong appeal to donors. You know, tell them why your organization needs their support and then show the impact of your work. So you can access your challenge team donation report in the report section of your dashboard. So clicking on that section will give you a submenu where you can choose from donation report or matching grants. Um, we'll get in more into matching grants here in a second, but for now, your donation report will be available to you in real time and include information like um, donation date, donor email, um, donor name, any designations or dedication options that you've um, you know, turned on, uh, the amount the donation um, was for, as well as which page the donation was attributed to. So that you know, column obviously comes more in handy when you have multiple team members on your challenge team. And then within the checkout flow section, which we'll go into detail about later on, um, you can see what information you collect during the checkout process that shows in your donation report. Um, so for example, if you needed to collect phone numbers or addresses from donors, um, you can do so, you can turn those on um, to get collected during the donation process within the checkout flow so that everything shows on your donation report. So all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cause Foundation, um, which is a donor advised fund. Um, so within your organization account, which I'll get into more about later on, um, you can sign up for electronic fund transfer, which is the recommended method since it allows fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, we can also send disbursements via check if you prefer um, not to do direct deposit or can't sign up for direct deposit. Um, checks get sent out once a month and there is a $5 administrative fee associated with check disbursements. So it's highly recommended that you sign up for EFT since it's free and you get your money faster. Um, and then again, I'll point you to where you can do that within your organization account in just a few slides. So the reports section on your team page dashboard is also where you'll find the matching grants tool. So I'm sure many of you know, um, having a matching grant from a donor, um, like a major donor or a corporate sponsor can go a long way in driving donations. So I wanna make sure you're aware of the tool that Mighty Cost has specifically for matching grants. The matching grants tool is a really versatile tool and you have a lot of options for how you structure your match. So a lot of matches are one-to-one -one matching where you know if someone gives that amount, the exact amount is matched, but within the tool, you could do two to one matching, three to one, or you could match a percentage of each donation. Um, our matching grant tool does all the math for you. So all you have to do is choose how you want to structure your match. Um, you can also apply a match when a certain number of donations has been received. So for instance, if there you know, was a bonus challenge available for the most individual donations, um, you could say that if you get 100 donations within the hour, you'll get an additional $1,000 for your nonprofit or you know, however you want. Uh, to set the matching grant up um, to, to really help you actually drive donation volume and traffic. And the matching grant tool allows you to post multiple grants at the same time and also in sequence. So you can set a bunch of grants to fire off one after another um, just to really keep momentum going um, if uh, you're um, able to do that. So while that might sound like a lot, the tool itself is pretty user-friendly and you have a lot of flexibility in how you structure your match. 
So since we have, you know, a little bit of time before the challenge starts, I would highly suggest checking out the matching grants tool just to see what your possibilities are and really start brainstorming. And then of course, if you get overwhelmed by the possibilities, you know, just setting it up as a one-to-one -one match is definitely the simplest and easiest thing to do. So the last item uh, on your team page dashboard is your settings. Um, this is where you can go to customize the social share template for your challenge page. You can add a fundraiser template and customize your team page checkout flow. Um, once you customize your social share template, anyone utilizing the share buttons on your team page will automatically get the template that you provide when they share, um, obviously making it super easy for them to quickly post. Um, you can also add and customize a fundraiser template within the settings section. Um, adding a fundraiser template is probably one of the more important things um, that you can do when customizing your challenge page, especially if you're planning on asking um, supporters to help you fundraise and join your team. The fundraiser template that you create will get everyone going faster since it pre-fills their fundraiser image, their text, goal, um, and more depending on you know, what all you've added. So this means that when they click that join team button on your challenge team page, their fundraiser will already be pretty much ready to go. Um, they'll be able to customize what you've pre-filled for them if they wanted to, but if they don't, then they're already good to start sharing their page with their friends and family, making it really easy for them to join your team and then get the word out. So also within your settings section is, um, there's a beneficiary settings tab within them. Um, this is where you can go to customize the checkout flow for your challenge team. So this is probably um, the most important feature to focus on when you're setting up your organization's team page, at least on the back end. Um, the checkout flow section gives you a lot of control over the donation process for your organization during the challenge. Um, it allows you to opt into collecting the information that you want and need from donors, like addresses and phone numbers. Um, you can also set up custom suggested donation amounts and add descriptions to help tie those amounts to um, items or services that your nonprofit provides, which obviously you know, strengthens the appeal to donate. Um, checkout flow also allows you to preview the whole checkout process without actually making a test donation. So you can see what your final process looks like and then use that to edit yourself if needed. So the checkout flow is also where you'll go to set up your thank you page, which uses the same text editor as your story on your team page. So you can add you know, text, you can add links, a video or image, and you can also add uh, a custom call to action button that tells donors where you'd like them to go next. Um, so it's a pretty customizable um, like, you know, thank you donation confirmation page that you have control over, which is really nice. Um, there's a lot you can do in the checkout flow tool to optimize your campaign and really customize that checkout process for donors. So, you know, you'll, you'll definitely want to spend some time customizing this team page um, using everything that we just talked about, because the more work that you put into it, the chances are, you know, the better you'll do during the community challenge. You can have the best campaign strategy in the world, but when your team page, you know, the page where people actually go to make donations looks like you haven't shown it any love, um, then, you know, that could make them pause and we obviously don't want them to do that. So each uh, 501c3 organization on the site has an organization profile, uh, which is separate from your team page. Um, with information that we Mighty Cause have imported directly from the IRS. So if, um, on a slight side note, if you're with a chapter of a national organization, um, then your challenge team page would have been set up underneath the national profile with funds going directly to the national organization's address. Um, if you have any questions about that or know your chapter or regional office should be set up differently, then please email rockchallenge at mightycause.com and we'll be able to help you out. Um, for everyone else, um, for those of you that are, you know, main, the main 501c3 organization, um, your organization profile is where you can add um, additional admins to the account. You, you can update your legal address if needed. You can, that's where you can set up your direct deposit. 
Um, you can also download a more comprehensive donation report and access your organization's disbursement report, um, as well as a couple other available reports um, within that organization profile. Um, the disbursement section of your organization profiles report center allows you to see your batch disbursement history. Um, you can click on a disbursement listing to open up more information about that disbursement, like you know which donations were included in that report, as well as a summary of the total amount, the total associated fees and net amount included in that disbursement. Um, and it, as I mentioned previously, all donations on the site are processed by the Mighty Cost Foundation, which again is a donor advised fund. Um, your organization can sign up for electronic fund transfer, um, which you know I'm, I'll reiterate, it's the recommended method since it allows for fund disbursement twice monthly. Um, but if you can't do that or you don't want to do that, you don't have to take action. We do send out checks um, and then checks get sent out once a month uh, as well. Um, so to access your organization profile, which again is a separate place from your team page, um, you'll want to click on the icon in the upper right of the page when of any page when you're logged in and you'll see your organization's name in the drop down list that appears. And so that's a really easy way for you to be able to get to your organization profile at any time. Just click your icon in the upper left, choose your organization from the drop down, um, and then it'll bring you right to your organization profile where you'll have access to these additional tools um, and things like that. So if you haven't done so yet, um, you're going to need to upload documentation to make sure um, that you can receive any prize grants that your organization wins during the challenge. Um, you will need to provide your organization's W-9 and your most recent 990. You can find the link to upload the paperwork uh, in that welcome email you received on Monday, um, or you can also find the link to upload the prize documentation at rockcommunitychallenge.com forward slash welcome. You'll, you'll get an email once we've received your paperwork um, confirming that we've received it and that you're all set. Um, and then, of course, if you have any questions at all about, you know, where to find um, the ability to upload the documentation, um, et cetera, you know, what is needed, you can email our support team at rockchallenge at mightycause.com. So moving on from the prize documentation, but before we get to the prizes available this year, um, I want to make sure I mention the really great tools that you're going to have access to really soon. Uh, the nonprofit toolkit will have um, tips and tricks, uh, the FAQ, walkthroughs. It also has templates that you can use uh, for email and social media to help you get inspired and you know figure out how to promote your campaign. Um, the toolkit is also where you'll be able to find today's training recording. Uh, all of you will get emailed the recording, but if you want to access it or share it with anyone, um, you know, that you want on your team to see it, um, you'll be able to access the recording on demand at any time um, uh, within the toolkit once it's available. Um, you'll also be able to find logos and graphics that you can download to start tying your brand into the Community Challenge brand. So we'll let you know as soon as the toolkit is available. Um, and then you'll, you know, make sure that you refer back to it as you're planning your campaign because it's got a lot of rich resources in there to help you out. So now we're going to move into talking about all the awesome prizes the Rock Family of Companies uh, Community Challenge has to offer this year. So the Rock Family of Companies Community Challenge is offering five grand prize grants to the organizations that raise the most in each market. The grand prize leaderboards for each market are on the specific markets subpage. Um, as soon as the challenge begins, participating organizations will start getting tracked by the dollars they have raised. Um, now, it's important to mention that only online donations made through the Mighty Cause platform count for leaderboard totals. So this is a big reason why you want to push your donors to give online. Um, you can definitely record a check that's given to you. It just won't be reflected in your leaderboard totals. Um, and you know, the reason for that is because we don't and cannot verify offline donations. Um, the leaderboard is going to reflect your cumulative total from the time the challenge begins at 
12 p.m. Eastern on August 3rd. So it is a running total of everything you've raised online. And here, you know, you're engaging in some friendly competition for those top prizes. Uh, so as you can see, um, each market has, a, um, for the most part, a slightly different uh, grand prize structure. Um, Cleveland, Phoenix, and Charlotte are all the same, but um, Detroit and the national market um, have different structures. Uh, for de the Detroit market, first place gets $25,000, second gets 15, third gets 10, fourth gets uh, $7,500, and fifth gets $5,000. And then for Cleveland, Phoenix, and Charlotte, first place gets $15,000, second place gets $10,000, third gets $5,000, fourth gets $2,500, and fifth gets a thousand. And then for the national market, first place gets seven thousand, second gets four thousand, third gets twenty five hundred, fourth gets a thousand, and fifth gets five hundred dollars. So there's a lot of additional prizes um, available as well. Uh, we have a specific bonus this year geared just for small organizations that runs through the whole uh, campaign. Um, we haven't quite determined budget size threshold yet to participate in this bonus. That's still being determined, but um, that'll be included in the rules and on the actual uh, bonus description once we have that um, settled. But uh, for now, there is a small um organization bonus that we're really excited to be able to offer uh, there's a lot of matching funds available um, there's you know we have unique donor bonuses we have most raised bonuses um, there's basically lots just there's lots of opportunities to win we have lots of um, multiple winners for each bonus uh, so um, hopefully you know it, it gives uh, every organization participating a good chance of winning something um, or you know, coming home with some prize funds, which is also why it's very important for you to upload that uh, prize documentation so that um, the Rock family of companies can distribute anything that you've won to you. Um, so you know, all of these prizes, you know, methods of entries and dates associated with them, they're all on the challenge site at rockcommunitychallenge.org uh, under the bonus challenges tab. So you can reference them at any time. Um, each market has different numbers of winners or prize amounts, so you'll want to make sure to reference your market's bonus challenge bonus challenge tab when checking them out to make sure you're getting um, the correct information uh, for the market that you're in. And this year, bonus prizes will have live leaderboards, so you can see where you stand at any time for any of the bonus challenges. Um, the key to winning them is in, you know, getting your donors invested and helping you climb the leaderboard. So, you know, keep tabs on your position on the leaderboard, not only for grand prizes, but also for the bonus challenges this year. Um, you know, keep your donors and supporters updated on where you are. You know, continually emphasize how much is at stake. You know, how much could this extra prize money do for your charity? You know, what would that help you achieve? Um, tie that back into your overall messaging about, you know, what you do and why you do it to really get people excited about helping you win that money. Um, and then another trick is just, you know, concentrate on sustaining momentum, keeping the fundraising going and really starting and finishing strong. So as we wrap this up, um, I want to make sure our support team's contact information is here for you to reference. Um, they are a really great resource before and during the challenge for anything campaign related. So if you need help, you know, setting up your EFT um, direct deposit, if you need some help figuring out how to strategize around the weekly bonuses, um, or if your donor needs a receipt reset, uh, you can reach out to them at any time. Um, we have their email address up here on the screen, rockchallenge at mightycause.com. Um, you know, that that's on the um, challenge site as well, but if you you know, want to write it down on a sticky note and put it somewhere where you'll um, be able to reference it easily. Uh, you can definitely do that. Um, they're available via email and phone um, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and then their phone number is listed here for reference as well. So really quickly, uh, I just want to plug the next webinar for the Community Challenge. Um, it's next Wednesday, July 15th at 3 p.m. Eastern. 
The second webinar is again going to be all about strategy that you can use during the challenge to win some of that awesome prize money being offered. So you can sign up and put it on your calendar now. Um, just go to rockcommunitychallenge.com forward slash welcome. Um, and there's a link to register for the next uh, webinar right on that page. So before we jump into any questions, um, Deneen, do you have anything else that you want to say? Um, uh, I'm going to see if we have any questions right now. Nope, just uh, here, ready for any questions anyone may have. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and see if we've gotten any questions. Okay, um, it doesn't, it looks like we, so what, we got one question um, and um, they're asking to see what the social share template looks like. Um, I don't have any shots within my deck of the social share template. Um, but basically, you are able to upload your logo to the social share template. You can add um, and add text, uh, as well as your uh, handles for um, Twitter and Facebook. And then um, you can add any, there's some additional SEO settings if you want to get fancy um, on the social share template. So basically, when you, you pre-fill that template with your logo and then the text that you want them to be able to share, um, when they click share, when they go to share your team page, that will pre-fill for them. Um, and then, you know, they're able to make changes uh, if they want um, to, you know, the text that you've written there. But if they don't and they just want to share really quickly, then that's a super easy way for them to be able to do that. Let's see. Doesn't look like we're getting any other questions in. Um, I am going to assume that my webinar was extremely comprehensive, which is great. Um, so, if, you know, if anyone does have any questions uh, that you think of later, or if you run any, into anything while you're, um, you know, filling out your, customizing your team page or um, accessing your organization profile, um, you can always, always reach out to our support team uh, at rockchallenge at mightycause.com um, and they'll be able to help you with anything that you need. Um, but, you know, just quick recap, uh, steps that you guys need to take now to get ready for the challenge before it launches on August 3rd. Um, make sure that you um, have uploaded that prize documentation. Um, go to rockcommunitychallenge.com forward slash welcome and, um, you know, there's the, the button to upload there. It'll take you to where you need to go. Um, so make sure that you do that um, and then make sure that you customize your uh, team page. That way, you know, you have something there for, you know, when people see your organization on the leaderboard, um, when they click into your page, then you, you have information there about your organization. Um, and then, you know, make sure that you just check out the account in general. And that way, like you become familiar with some of the tools, um, make sure that you look through all the bonus challenges that are available for your market. Um, that way you can start kind of thinking through everything. Um, and then make sure you attend next week's webinar too, because we're going to be going into a lot more detail about um, different strategic uh, um, things that you can do to really uh, try to make the most of the bonus challenges available, um, as well as the tools available in your Mighty Cause account, because you have lots of tools. Um, that you're able to use. So we, we really want you guys to make the most out of this. Um, and so we're here to help. There's lots of resources coming um, and, you know, lots of information that's already available on the site. So, um, you know, just really like set aside a little bit of time, um, really just, you know, half an hour, um, one day to just click through everything, see, you know, where everything goes, um, just the site in general so that you can become familiar with it. Um, you know, one of our goals is to try and make the transition from last year's platform to this platform really easy. Uh, so, you know, but we need you to help do that too by taking the time to just, you know, click around and, and check everything out um, on your page, on the main challenge site, all the tools available. Um, and then, of course, again, any questions that you have, our team is happy, happy to help 
um, uh, rockchallenge at mightycause.com is their email address. Um, but yeah, I don't see any other questions coming in. So um, I, you know, that's all I have for today. Um, and I think, I don't know, Deneen, if you have anything else or wanna, you know, kind of sign us off, but uh, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to, you know, continue helping everyone out. And then I'm excited for the webinar next week as well. Yep, same here. I definitely encourage you to um, make sure you participate next week's and reach out to me as well if you have any additional questions. And I just, again, wanna thank all of you for participating. Um, I'm really, really excited. I hope all of you are as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time today. We really, really appreciate it. Uh, and we look forward for uh, next week's webinar and all the exciting information coming along with that. Um, have a great rest of your day.